Week number six, log six. This log here is going to be uh, probably the longest one. I have a few points that I want to make uh, that through the drawing week, I discover many things that have um, left me with interesting discoveries. Well, for one, as I started drawing, I used the method of of transcribing the reference in the designated page and paper that I wanted to to appear, the method that I used in Flow, which was um, a measurement of where the height and width of key elements in the drawing were, so the proportional part of the drawing becomes accurate. Given the nature of these designs are intricate uh, with lots of details I decided to do the same here although it takes more time and it could have been quickly alleviated with many of modern ways of doing it such as um, printing out the reference and then overlaying, overlaying on the paper that you want it to appear and on the back of the paper you probably put some graphite and then press on the lines to stencil and make the the drawing appear on the on the paper which i never liked and never did in this method i found something interesting although in 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 flow i was doing it uh, given the scale was a lot bigger and and it allowed me to create accurate proportions. I, as I was doing it without the influence of having to think about the audience that I that I used to back in Flow, I I sat down for a moment as I was looking at numbers and, and transcribing it with with drawing. I started seeing how. I was breaking down the drawing into a numerical sequence. Everything could be created using those numbers. Given if anyone would have the same page size and use the same coordinates, they would have gotten, if they knew the design, they would have gotten the outlines to create it themselves which this will be proven useful later on in the log as I explain what's going to happen later. But as I was doing this, I, I, I started remembering um, my time when I was creating it on stream and how everyone would find this tedious to view as not a lot of things were happening, a lot of accuracy and, and, and precision were used to create the design and this time that I didn't have to think about you know um, having to do it faster or any of the of the thoughts that others are viewing and, and experiencing this as I am uh, I started thinking about how this could be used in this story so as I'm talking you probably are seeing some of my measurements I decided to show you guys my method because I find it useful to share and and for many to understand how a lot of the drawings are are going to be brought up. Um, as I was I was creating this the first day, I I only got to, to if I were to talk a percentage of the drawing, uh, only ten percent. And I spent around, I want to say, nine hours on the first day. So as I was progressing on the second day, and I was reflecting the numbers, drawing the, the lines, and, and then practicing some of the shadows and the qualities that I want, I started to understand how in every time that I was doing it, I was getting new ideas on how I, I can introduce different elements in the story. 
and I quickly realized that having a deadline for next month or this month on the 25th is not feasible given that the amount of quality and, and detail that I want ev every drawing to have is not going to be done till then so in 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 an orthodox fashion of trying to put deadlines and not meeting them I will have to push forward the actual release of the whole arc which I don't think is uh, is gonna affect anything other than having a better quality of an experience later on but I will think I will say that uh, when that day comes uh, whatever I have sort of created or done I will share some of it or an experience of it just for you guys to understand how everything is going to be experienced so probably there's going to be a template or or a, or a test happening on that day that is going to be open to everyone and probably open to uh, to feedback which is going to be very much needed anyhow as I was creating the numbers and you you clearly see it on the screen um, what you see is that the the top part there is there is two rows of, of of numbers right there is the top part and the and the, and the bottom one the top one is the width and the bottom one is the height so if you were to take a ruler in um in the size of the of the drawing that i was doing which was uh 42 by 29.7 which is um a3 a little bit bigger than a3 size all of these are in cm by the way and if you were to trace the 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 coordinates and and the line that i was you know the 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 template of a drawing as where the coordinates are hitting you would have you will be able to make the same line in the same proportional aspect which got me thinking i could use this in the story to implement sort of secrets and easter eggs and and very prominent points i don't know how and when this will happen but i do want to use it in terms of what if during the arc or all of the arcs you will find a couple of coordinates much like this and you will record them you will note them down for example and then as you get more hints and maybe you get a pre-sketch of what he was doing, whatever, you could actually retrace it by drawing the coordinates on your page with substantial information. I am confident that everyone could have the designated drawing that I want them to have, which came to a massive opening of how many things I can hide in a composition or in within the story so that was an amazing amazing discovery for me the ability to really put so much detail not in just the drawings but in the whole story on how i'm going to be delivering them another detail that i was thinking was the instrument that the story will have given that every instrument has a let's call it the color I want the story and the protagonist to have its own instrument that it's going to be introduced and it's going to emphasize and, and sort of progress the story and how when this instrument is being used or when it's not refers to the protagonist or the environment and etc which was another thinking of a layer of story that I can add in creating this effect i haven't sort of narrowed it down yet which is it's pretty early for me to do but i've been listening and, and trying to understand what i want also ideas of having to look within the composition of yes finding props that you can interact and then becoming enlarged some of them would look interactable, but then you will be met with some text, sort of 
prompting you as nothing is out of the ordinary and not a, another drawing is warranted for the uh, the close up so it's so that would allow me to do more details that either that between them are going to have either a specific nature of it's a it's a substantial hint that you have to take into consideration and some that i place them there to create not just a I interact, I get rewarded type of sequence, but more of um you've noticed it, that's good, but that's nothing of interest. I find all of these ideas of of adding into a story to be wonderful, like the new step for me. Reflecting back to Flow's story and how it took me three years to actually understand how to cohesively create and and progress the story, I, I quickly realized that within this theme here, I don't think it's going to be as short as I initially thought about it. I keep saying this because every time that I said, this is not going to be as big as flow, this is not going to be as big as flow, and it's going to take like X amount of month. Contrary to flow, I know a lot more lessons and I carry a lot more knowledge moving forward in this one and the years that took me to understand how to cohesively create this I I can do it in the beginning here so I, I know cohesively how to create this and every time I go and physically do it more ideas come into play maybe not all of them will get implemented but the the attention of having time and 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 space be introduced in a story such as this allows for the strengthening of the story and for me not to repeat the same patterns of my past because many of of how I, how this is being presented and and, and and understood is completely different to what I've ever done in my um in my life so i don't know how long this might take but i know that a couple of more months will, will be needed on the arc so probably early february will be a good month to to aim to have everything completed because i've I've been I've been working on this first design is is part of the the six smaller ones well when I call as I said smaller ones meaning not the the major major ones uh it took me I've been working on it for three days extensively and the other days I had a bit of a personal health issue and I had a minor operation that couldn't I couldn't really work on the days that I had it due to me resting but i was doing i was i was i was writing and, and thinking about other things and it got to me how the idea of having space and having the i am hands on and doing something right now and having to take a step back live a bit of life and the sense of the lessons that i'm trying to comprehend comes a lot more naturally in the compositions and a lot more naturally into the story. It's a very, I wouldn't say linear story, I would say it had, it, it revolves around the character that previously I haven't really made it into a specific character. It was, it was a vessel before, a vessel for people to relate. And this time it's a person that exists and has a background and has a story and has, a, has likes and dislikes and all of that. And I want, I want his personality to come across as either understandable or misunderstandable or completely relatable. So depending on who you are and how and what things can you relate or not, it's going to have that effect. And it, it's really powerful for me to have this this amount of direction because I I, I create. A plethora of things within the um 
this story and as I as I tackle the things that I that I care and I and I want, I begin to see how they're implemented and how they're implemented becomes a whole story of do I want it to be implemented that way or should I take less now and introduce more later? That type of conversation. But regardless, alongside this this um this log here, I've created in my resting time from my from my surgery, I've created um a blog. A blog that reflects both some of the emotions that I'm feeling right now and, and some hints to how the stonemason is being run and how me being back in the studio is being sort of presented and, and, and felt. So I highly recommend if you're interested to get more information about this week to um to have a read. It's it's titled Restart. Quite funnily so as it's reintroducing a restart because every time a restart is obviously restarting something and but it's endless. The restarts of, of doing things that you think you know is, is they're endless. So yeah. I think this much this basically covers the uh the scope of what I've been thinking and doing along this week. Um the drawing is I would say forty percent completed, given that as I'm doing the um the outlines, I have to do the shadows and given it is the first drawing, I'm playing around with the shadows before finishing the outlines. Just because I want to test things, should I do A, B, or C, or etc. I believe that within this drawing, which I think is going to be, if I work full, full next week from Monday to Friday, this drawing will most definitely be done. And moving forward, they like having an understanding on how I would move and sequence things to prepare. They're gonna have. A much easier time coming to fruition and easier time for them to to be completed but every every design has um has a, pers a personality which is not similar to any of the other ones which i i i think and i and i hope so that in every design i have moments such as this that i begin to see and understand what can i do more or what can i add or what can i take away in creating this story that's my hope but without further blabbering of how things are going to be i uh, i hope the the measurements and the and, and then and my method of portraying these drawings yielded some information uh, as a visual for you and moving forward next week i hope i can share more of the uh, the behind the scenes well, till then, we shall have more things to say. <laughs>